Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, the Orienteering Kid, where today we're going into the virtual world for day three of the Taurus Training Week. Yes, so as I just said, we are going actually into a virtual environment today. We are going into the world of Minecraft, which is an exciting prospect as we're going to be doing Trello in a place where you can completely create your own terrain. So any problems that you can think up with are possible. So I'm actually really excited to see what has been come up with today. Our planners today are Jan and Jonathan Farooks, with Jan advising alongside Dusan. So it looks like it's a family affair today which will be exciting to see and yeah we will dive straight into it I just do want to address the thing at the top where station 4 from yesterday's event was voided because of a mistake with control 45 and the control circle is a little misplaced by that point so they have voided the whole station for that in terms of looking at the results from yesterday that does drop me down to ninth place so not that much further but my score has increased slightly and we will now actually look at the overall results for the series so far because they are now up as they have been calculated and I am in 13th at the moment because of the 31st place at the start. Well done to Sebastiano for currently taking the lead in the cup with a third and second place across the two days and it looks like the Polis, Portiva, Massi and the Italians are definitely taking this cup by storm so far. As we can see there Massi are winning by a good 24 points overall and and also the Italians are winning by 20 points as well there. So I'm excited to see what today's interesting and very different event brings for us all here. So let's now just jump straight into it. We've got day three in the Minecraft world and we are in specifically a desert village. Now the map is 1 to 2000, so it's a very small map and the symbols are normal orienteering maps, but the lines and edges are jagged because obviously in Minecraft only cubes actually exist and the contours are gonna be very easy to spot because it's just gonna be one cube is a contour. So as we can see here, every time we have a brown line, we are going to go up one cube. It's going to be five cubes as the zero tolerance, so we're not working in meters, we're just working in cubes. So if you want to count cubes, that could be useful. And some sitting positions could be in the air, like these two photos here we have. And also the flags will be three cubes high, with two cubes for the pole and one cube for the flag. Let me just zoom in slightly for you so you can see the photos. And you can see there that we have these controls, and they are two cubes at the bottom, and a third cube for the actual flag. But they do look fairly realistic in this Minecraft world apart from their height so I'm very impressed for Jonathan and Jan for coming up with this idea. So yeah with that let's have a go at this very interesting third day of the Taurus training week and here is station one. Okay we have the buildings at the back this is looking very interesting already um, we have a third the sets of three buildings um, so that looks like that building back there. We want that for the corner. So that one is Delta Canopy. There's so many canopies there, but I think that one's Alpha. Right on that side, it's on the wrong bit. Um, out of bounds building, and it's on the top of that there. I think that's Bravo. Um, and that spur there looks like it's Echo. So that did take me a small while, it's um, getting used to the type of map, it's very interesting and it's actually really cool this event, I'm enjoying it. As long as I've got Alpha and Bravo the right way around there, but I based it on the sides that the arrows were on rather than the controls, but I think that's probably how they've been done. And yeah, this is quite a large area for the map and that did throw me slightly, but um, I think we finally got to grips with it and actually all the buildings are a similar colour to the ground, but I think that went quite well. I think that was a good station with at least one clear zero in there might have been two I can't remember now but yeah it might be some slow times today but we will go on to station two okay we have um, the river on the left hand side with Alpha there's a tree with Bravo that building so that must be the lake over there this is the first building with the canopy in front on that line is Delta um, that is the wrong lake um, just in front that was where control was before that is the wrong tree and is that the right spur crikey that's a question 
Yes, it is. Yeah, I think that was a good one. I think there were a few tricks bringing us close to focus on trying to spot this one control at the front and then sending us away to a zero task, I believe, for the wrong lake and the wrong tree with tasks two and four respectively. But I think that was good. I think this is a good use of the station. I think this is definitely becoming quite an interesting day as we're going through. But we've only just started. We've got seven more stations to go and we will go on to station three. Okay, so we have the cacti which might be mapped. It looks like there's a wall by Foxtrot. Um, is that there? That looks like that's the dip. That corner is Delta. Um, that's the wall, as we said with the crags. I can believe that is Foxtrot. Um, that's the depression by Alpha. That bit comes out as Charlie. And is it that? tree or cacti yes it is with echo yeah so it's another very interesting station i don't think there are any zeros in that station but i did think it was quite hard i think the usefulness of every single cube up being mapped as a contour is really good in this event and i think it's the most useful task but yeah there was obviously the crags with the stone over by foxtrot i know you may not have recognized it in stone but it definitely helps having a prior knowledge of some of the blocks that exist in minecraft and yeah the cacti being mapped as trees I completely understand and I think that was all good and we'll now move on to station four Okay, we've got the lake. We've got the river running by Alpha and Bravo cacti and it looks like a big drop So that must be the big drop there building one two. I believe It's the wrong building this front building is Charlie um, That's the wrong one there um, I can see that being Foxtrot and that lake must be Delta. Yeah, that was another good one. I think task one being on the wrong building behind. It looked to me, from the angle especially, that the tower was kind of coming out the front building, but it was clear from the map that the tower was on the second building, and because Echo was on the front building, I think that was clearly a zero. And also the zero along the riverbank being on the wrong little leg of open land. But yeah, this is looking very good. I am really enjoying these so far. We're just under halfway through, and we will go into station five. Okay, we've got more trees here, we've got the lake, we've got the river by the back three. Um, that tree, there's two trees, so that is Delta. Um, the one at the front is Charlie. The one over there in that must be Echo. There does seem to be a pit there by Alpha. And in that clump of trees, am I believing that there's another tree there? Well, it's got to be. So that does look like the most quickest station so far. I think there was another no zero station, so I'm questioning whether I have got one wrong so far. It was quite a nice use of the vegetation of the trees, and also it's the first time we've seen a pit in this map with Alpha in it, so I believe that was good. Yeah, and I don't think I've really got much else to say about that station. There's some really good stations that are coming though, and we will go on to station six. Okay, we have the canopies, we have um, the more buildings, and that's the tower building, and we want the second building, which doesn't have anything on that contour. Um, that You can just about see the colour boundary, so that one must be alpha. Um, that spur looks like it's foxtrot. Um, edge of the canopy, I can believe that's bravo and that's not where any of them were. That's where two controls have appeared before in station one and two, as we're in the same village there. But I believe Charlie was in a different place to that. But that was another good station. It was nice to see some of the lampposts, and I think Echo was on a lamppost. It was either Echo or Delta. And yeah, there was some good little challenges. Noticing again the building with the tower on it was really what centered me in the correct place of the first task. And then that's where I moved around from there. And just, I'm definitely getting used to the content now so it's looking very good and we'll now go on to station seven um, and we have trees we have the crag with the diamond in it on alpha um, so that must be that crag there um, that s spur or well, that re-entrant looks like it is probably Charlie I think um, it looks like the depression there with echo um, that doesn't look like it's the right bit, I think that's behind the canopy of the tree, um, top of the hill, 
and also that section there is Foxtrot. So yeah, it was another good one. There's quite a lot of contour features in this, which I'm not really surprised about with all the contours being very highly defined. And yeah, there was a good trick with the re-entrance just behind the tree, I think it was. It might have been a spur. Yeah, with the pits and everything, it's really going very well, I think. And we will now go on to Station 8. Okay, we have the lake um, and we have the trees. We're still in this village, so we have the out of bounds. Um, that little hill, I can believe that's the right hill, but can I prove it? Those three buildings, canopy, taking my time. Um, I think it might actually be the wrong one. Or is it? Just taking my time. Use a bit of zoom. Yeah, I think it's the wrong one. Um, trees. That's the lake, the one tree. Um, that's got to be alpha. Um, that section there, I believe, is delta. Um, on the outer bounds at the back would be Charlie. And that contour there. Um, is it the right one? No, it's not. So yes, yeah, 60 seconds for that station. I took a long time, but it was definitely on that first task, trying to spot exactly whether it was on the right hill, because I could see it was a small sliver of hill on the map, and that could have definitely been where Foxtrot was, but to me it looked a bit too far back. So I was just checking that, and then I noticed there was a small sliver of hill on the map in front of it. So I think that was quite a tough zero to make, and quite a lot of you might have got that one wrong. And also with the final task being in the wrong part of the re-entrant, I think it was one key higher than what it should have been but it was definitely five cubes away so I am confident to say that one is also a zero and yeah I think this is actually been really fun as we go into the final station of the day station nine okay we have the tower in the background um, we have the hills and that sort of shape that's the plus in the thing so that one is too far back that's now that depression of echo um, where is that tree on the bottom of the hill? So that one could easily be... Well, it's five cubes, isn't it? So it's got to be... Bravo. Um, that's too far away. Um, that is Foxtrot. And I don't remember answering five tasks there, but I think I definitely did. That feels a bit weird, because I only remember answering four, but I think I just forgot this first task. And yeah, no, I definitely remember answering five now. Fastest station today was 18, but I was definitely averaging the 20s, the 30s. Let's have a look at some of the stations now. And the first station, which this is the village we mainly worked around for the whole of the day. And this is quite a hard task to start with, to be honest, trying to find which corner of the building we are meant to be on. And to be honest, to start with I just thought that was all one building which was throwing me slightly then I realized that we have the building off to the right hand side and this other small building there and then these bits of farm seem to be the outer bounds areas so really we're going the other side of this outer bounds area to the first building we hit and so that must be Delta there for the first task and then we come to these sets of canopies and if we're going from the outer bounds area and this building with the canopy in front of it we have these two lamp posts as well we hit the sets of canopies here with the water as well and we want the middle canopy which is the one that alpha is on and we want the south eastern corner of it so I believe that one is alpha there and then we come to the next task which is on a contour feature and it's identifying whether it's the right one specifically a spur and as you look at it Foxtrot could be on a spur but I believe that Foxtrot is on this sort of plus shape spur there and we actually want the thing just below it which is being obscured by this building and it's more than five cubes away so it must be a zero and then we come to this small little hill just there to the left hand side of the two out of bounds areas and Bravo does seem to be on the top of that hill there so I'm happy with Bravo on that one and also we want the re-entrant as we come from the south side of the first out of bounds area we spotted before and that does seem to be the re-entrant that Echo is in just in line with this small building and the other building just here and it's on the lowest of the contours so it's on the lowest of the cube drops and that is definitely 
Echo. So yeah, I thought that was a fairly interesting station to come in with, especially with all these buildings at the back seeming to merge for the first task, but I don't think I had anything wrong there. We then have the second station, which I did notice did say Trello in the top has been made out of diamond blocks, so I'm guessing that was Jonathan that did that. But we had the first task being on a spur just outside this building, and if we remember before that the outer bounds area is this gardening section or the farming section. We then have the building just behind it in the photo there with the canopy in front of it as well and we want actually the top hill in this section which is this small bit of hill which Delta is on. It's on the northwestern part of it so I'm happy with that one as Delta. And then we go off to the side and we have a lake and you may really be thinking that Alpha is the only lake that you can see and so you think it's Alpha. However you can also see the bit of cave and the crag where Alpha is so I'm pretty sure that this is the bit of cave and the crag which is just here on the edge of the map and if you look very closely here you can see a small bit of blue by this building and I'm very confident to say that that bit of blue is the lake that we actually want and so I'm happy with that one being a zero because I want it all the way over here and I think that is a fairly clear zero. We then come back to the re-entrance that we have literally just had in 15 and it is again echo in that re-entrance so the answer to that one is also echo and then we have a tree and the tree is right in the background up against the crag whereas the tree that Bravo is on is sort of in the middle of the open land and so we can actually see the tree that we want being behind this tree sort of by the arrow pointing at Charlie which is a lot closer to the crag as well so I want the control to be right out the back there and so I don't think that one's Bravo I think that one is another zero and then we get thrown quite a long way off to the right hand side or so it seems and we want another spur and we want the foot of that spur the only real contender for this one is foxtrot and i am happy to go with it because we can see the hill or this sort of plus shape just to the right of it and also that little slightly bigger depression just below that as well and so we're on a point that sticks out and that seems to work the best so that one looks good as foxtrot so yeah another interesting second station another good use of the small area now we actually move to the southern end of this map and we are asked to identify another re-entrant so really we're working with contours because it's the only thing we've got apart from these couple of trees and the crags that are going around this circle I had identified the stone though with the crags with foxtrot so I did actually work from this so we can actually work directly in a line we hit this point just below the line we're working down and that must be the point here and then we go a bit further along and we hit the sort of re-entrant shape that we want and just below it is a small depression that has been mapped there so I'm happy to say that one is Delta and we've actually started the first three stations with the answer of Delta and then we have this hill that we've just talked about and we want the edge of that hill and it's really the crags that are going around defining this hill and we've said Foxtrot is there at the hill so I'm happy to say that one is Foxtrot just behind the lake that we can also see on the map. We then are asked to identify a depression and the only one that's in a depression is Alpha because as you can see we only have one block of cane rather than two so the second block must be down in the depression and does it fit with everything else that we've said already well we have this depression with delta we then go up one set of blocks and then up another set of blocks as this set and then that set and then we go down into the depression so i'm happy to say that one is alpha there and then we get a spur and if we're working from where delta was already with the depression we just come straight forward to where this spur is and charlie is right there on that spur so that one should be charlie and then we have the two trees and they are near the crags and so I'm presuming they're these two cacti and we want the closer one to us and with it being the closer one to us Echo is on that one and it's on the northwestern side so it should definitely be Echo there and we have a no zero station but I think that was a good one it was good to throw it in there and then we come actually to be standing on the other side of the crag area that we have just used and you can see the lake as well and we're looking back over to the village and we want the corner of the building which has the tower on it and as I said before that is the second building that we come to as we look back but if we look in the photo it looks like if you're not looking at it carefully enough that the tower is coming out the first building
building. And so you'll see that we want a building with a tower on it and Echo is on the building which looks like it's got the tower coming out of it and so many of you would have put Echo for that. However, we can also see there should be a building in front of the building that the tower is on. And so the first building that we come to being the building which Echo is on, we must know is not the building with the tower on and actually the tower is behind this building and we can sort of see that the buildings don't merge properly and so there must be two different buildings there and Echo must be on the wrong building so that one is a zero. And then we come to the first building by the lake that we've had and this is the first building we reach and we want the southwestern outside corner of that building and Charlie does seem to be there in the centre of the magnifier there. We then get sent all the way to the edge of the river and the only contender out the back there is Bravo but why have I put zero instead? Well if you look where this lake is in relation to where Bravo is it's right next to it on the first extension of the land into the river and actually we want the spur that's a lot further back and you can just see it behind Bravo there but that is definitely more than five blocks away and so that one is on the wrong spur and it must be a zero. We then come right out to the front and we have this crag again and we want the edge of the crag and really if we're looking at it we have where the lake is and then we go up three blocks which is the thicker contour and then the solo contour and then we reach foxtrot there so that one is foxtrot and then finally we end on the lake in the center where the crag is and we want the far side of the lake or the north edge of the lake and that is the small little lake or pond should i be saying it's not really a lake it's definitely a pond and delta is right there on the right end of the pond so that one is delta that was another good station but the fact that the tower is merging with the building might have fooled quite a few of you so we will see what happens there we then come into this slightly more interesting station five and the land does look a bit different we're using more the trees and the vegetation and we are asked to identify the back tree nearest the river um, and we want the south eastern side of that tree and to me the only two trees that are together really are these two trees here and we want the back one of the two near the river and delta is on the tree there so I'm happy with that one being delta and then we come to the edge of the river here right in front of us and you can see that as the river curves round it goes back out the photo and then it does come back in also near this little bit of depression so we can see the little depression there and then we get the edge of the lake and so we get Charlie as the answer to that one and then we go to the rather large depression as it's been described and we want the western part of it and if we work from these two trees we want the next tree that we can see moving to the right which is this one there and then we just want to go down one level of contour so one block and we just reach echo as we do that so I'm happy to say that one is echo and then we want a pit and it's the first one we've had described as a pit I don't know why it's necessarily been mapped as a pit because it looks like it's four blocks and we have got a two block hill mapped here rather than a knoll but I'm happy to go with that description and it's definitely a pit there it works quite nicely and alpha is definitely in the pit so that one is definitely alpha there and then we move right to the right hand side of the photo and we want this clump of three trees that have been mapped as woodland this one threw me slightly because i can only see two trees but i can believe there's a third tree actually you can see the trunk of the tree at the top of the front tree so there are definitely three trees there and foxtrot does seem to be right in the middle of those three trees so that one is definitely foxtrot and we've got a second no zero station which isn't common but i can definitely believe with this being quite a harder day for some of you trying to get graphs of the map i think it's probably needed and yeah i thought that was another very good station using the vegetation we then go back into the urban area though and notice the trailo name again at the top and we want the corner of a building and we specifically want the corner of the building next to the building with the tower as we remember this is the tower here we can now see that these two buildings are definitely not connected and we want the next building to the left which is this small one here and now many of you might have easily put Charlie or even Delta for this one because if you don't look at it carefully enough you might think Delta is on the corner of the building rather than that lamppost although it isn't actually going for the corner of the building it's going for the spur and it's going for the foot of the spur but I think it's clear it's going for this contour that goes round the edge of the building and it's obviously I believe five cubes away from Delta. Delta is on this lamppost instead so I'm happy to say that that one is a zero and then we go out to between two buildings and it's the corner of open land and if you do look at the map very carefully you can 
can see there's a very slight colour change between the open land of the grass and the open land of the sand. And so looking at it, we want the southeastern inside corner of the grass area rather than the sand. And it's just at the bottom of the hill leading up to the building with Bravo on it. So if we have the building with Bravo on it and the canopy, we go down the hill and we do hit a corner of grass, which Alpha has in it. And so that one must be Alpha there. I think if you're just basing it on positions though, it definitely fits with the three buildings to the left, the out of bounds farming section where we do seem to be a lot further into the day now as some of the crops seem to be growing and also the building as we said with Bravo on it. So it does look in about the right place. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you just went alpha straight away for that one anyway. We then want another spur. We want the Eastern spur and we want the Northern end of the Eastern spur because I think you can see there's another spur just in the edge of the circle, but the circle has been cut to sort of show that. And as we've gone off to the right hand side, we need to identify whether this one is going to be Foxtrot or Zero really, because all these others are in the town. But if we go off the building that we did think potentially had the tower on it in a previous station, we just go to the first contour we reach after that building that sticks out. And that is the contour which Foxtrot is definitely on. So I'm happy again to say that that one is Foxtrot. And then we go back to the building as we've already discussed with the canopy on it. And Bravo is on the right corner of the canopy, the northwestern corner of that canopy. So it must be Bravo there. And then we have this task which we've now had for the third time. We've had it in station 15 and we've had it in 23 as well. But now we've got it in 65 and are any of them in the right place? Well, we have these three canopies as the three canopies there and then the building behind it. And then this re-entrant will be behind the building. And so I believe that one is a zero. A lot of you might have put Charlie, but that is in the gap between the two buildings on this corner, which is outside the circle. So is further away from the location than Delta was from the first task. So that one is another zero. But I think the two zeros there were potentially fairly tough, although they weren't the toughest in the day. I will say that. We'll get to that. So there may have been a couple mistakes coming out here. Then we had another vegetation station out to the eastern side of the village. I like that vegetation station. It flows quite a lot. But anyway, we had to identify the re-entrant in the circle. And so this was a lot of contour thinking. But because we've got a lot of contours, we need to base it off something else. So I'm going to base it off the trees for now. And we obviously have with the building these two trees just here. One that's got alpha on it and another one that hasn't got anything on it at the moment. And then we go down into the depression just here. And then we go up two contours, which are these two contours here. And then we hit the center of the circle, which is definitely where Charlie is now. And so that one looks like it is Charlie there. We then go out to a depression from where Charlie was. We only go up one contour. And then if we follow the next contour round, we should hit that depression. So if we go up one contour and then follow it round, we hit a depression back there. And if Echo is not in that depression, I don't know where else it really is. So I'm happy to say that one is Echo. And then we are meant to move even further right of Echo to behind the building. And so if we look where the building is and we go slightly behind it, we see that that area is being obscured by the tree canopy. So that one is definitely not any of the controls because we can't see the area. So that one is another zero. And then we are meant to go to the left hand side of the depression which Echo was in now. And we just go up the hill one two three contours so if we go one two and then we follow that hill round and we go up a third contour to the very top of that hill we notice we get a contour which is in a similar shape to what we've had so that one should be bravo there with the two trees slightly further behind it as well and then we come right to the front again and we actually get the symbol for paved area which to be honest i don't know what other symbol you'd really use in the control description for this area rather than open land so i'm happy to go with the paved area i don't think it confused much and we want this paved area it's definitely been mapped as paved area actually looking at it but we want it to be just north or in front of us of this tree which was blocking the task before and that is definitely where foxtrot seems to be just down this hill so i'm happy to say again that that one is foxtrot but that was another interesting station with the zero only being a zero because it's blocking the actual location it's meant to be so a few of you might have actually put foxtrot or even delta for that one but if you put foxtrot what you would have then realised in this task that you would have been wrong with 73. And now we come to what I think is the hardest station of the day, station 8, and this is definitely the hardest task of the day. We are trying to identify a hill, and specifically that hill there. Now it's a small hill, and to me the only contender is Echo, because I'd 
already noticed this lake which we have worked with before here and also the tree just to the left of it is this tree so we must know we're definitely there and we're going just above Foxtrot to where Echo is about but now using the zoom and I should have definitely used this sooner we can see that as much as Echo is on the top of a hill which looks about the right shape there is also a bit of a hill just below it as this zigzaggy hill shape there and we can't see the lake but we do remember the lake from I think it was station 2 just here and this is actually the hill we are now going for so if we go back here we believe that the lake is behind this hill and actually that echo is behind here on the second hill behind it so I definitely believe that is a zero but I believe that would have caught quite a lot of you out so we will see how many at the end but I'm expecting that to be the lowest percentage really we then come right across to the other side of the map though as we have been there and we have the lake and the tree as we've had before keeping that anchor we also have the building just behind there and then we're going up the hill and if we remember this is the depression from the previous station which is this depression here we want the spur that comes out just behind that depression and alpha is on that corner so I'm happy to say again that that one is alpha there and then we want the northwestern tip of a depression and again using the lake and the tree we want it to be in front of the tree here and so if we follow the tree down we have a couple of contours which are these two contours here and then we hit the depression that we want and we want the tip of the depression so it might be in it it might be out of it but delta is just on the edge of that depression it's on the northwestern edge of that depression and it's just out of it so I believe that one is definitely delta there because obviously in Minecraft you can't put them on the edge of blocks you have to put them in the center of blocks so we can't put it precisely on the edge but it is definitely on the edge of that depression then we go right out to the back and we have this out of bounds area that we have already identified before in many previous stations and we know it's the farming area and if we look back we have the two bits of farming area as these two bits are out of bounds and we want the southeastern corner and so if we take the front one with the southeastern corner we reach Charlie so that one is good with Charlie and then we go right back here and it's again identifying whether we are in the right part of the re-entrant so we'll go back to basics with the lake and the tree as we have done with many of the tasks here and we want to go left of the tree to the edge of the re-entrant and then we want to go down the next contour but just by going left of the tree to the edge of the re-entrant we hit bravo so a lot of you might have put bravo straight away there but we still haven't gone down to the next part of the re-entrant which is five blocks away so this is why the zero tolerance was five blocks but it's definitely five blocks away from where bravo is so I want it in this part of the re-entrant down here instead and so I'm happy to say that one is another zero but I definitely think this was the toughest station of the day particularly with the first task in this station so if you only got a few of them right in this station I still think you've done really well and then we finally move to the last station of the day and we are going with more of a contour base again so what can we use to identify the other areas and we are going with more of a contour base again but I think the clearest feature here is this massive depression with the two smaller depressions and the plus shaped hill which is this massive depression here with the plus shaped hill you can see and the two smaller depressions but then in using that we then want the depression that is west of it further back in the photo but if we go further back in the photo we don't get any more controls because they're all more in the foreground and you can just see the depression back there with nothing in it so that one must be a zero and then we come to the massive depression with the two small depressions that we've already talked about and we want the depression that's closest to us and looking at it with the plus echo must be in the depression closer to us and so that one must be echo there and then this task did take me the longest as I was still trying to get a grasp of the hill shape and at one point I was considering alpha to be honest because the map just cuts off here and I don't know whether I would have wanted a bit more mapped just to try and help a bit but actually it's going to be in line with the point of the hill that's pointing towards the front mini depression in the massive one which is this one here and then we just move up the hill slightly and we are going to go up one two three more contours which is one two three and we hit there and you can also see that small little block pointing out behind Bravo is the small little block there so I believe it's on the right corner of the hill It's definitely going to be within five blocks and so that one is Bravo then we come right out to the other edge of the map and we want the southern end of a hill just is it the right one well if we're still basing it off this hill with the tree on it and that tree is the cat 
cactus, Charlie is to the right hand side of that cactus. But the location we want on the map is onto the left hand side. So actually it's going to be a hill that we can't see out the photo and so that one is definitely a zero because I believe Charlie is on the hill just here in the centre of the magnifier. And then finally we get quite a nice finishing task. The right hand side of the depression with the hill in it and it's the first re-entrance that we hit as we go to the right hand side of it and we also hit the depression that we have used a couple of times in previous stations but we don't want it in the depression we want it just out of it and Foxtrot is there just out of it so that one looks like it's Foxtrot and I'm pretty confident that I have no mistakes today which does look very good and it was a fairly quick time with 249 I think it's my quickest score across the three days so far all being nine stations but I don't think that's been a winning score so far so I don't really know what to expect with the overall standings I think people might have been getting used to the map still so yeah let's go and have a look at where I am in the overall results and I am in third behind Yuha and Merit I'm not really surprised by that I thought I was quite high but I didn't quite think I was first but we will see whether I'm able to hold on to this medal position and I will see you later for the overall results Yes, we are back, and as you can see, I've only dropped slightly, I was in third, and I'm now down to fifth, which I don't think is too bad at all for today, with it being a very interesting day, and it's not a normal day for Trello at all, so I think if you did very well today, you've shown that you can adjust very quickly to different types of terrain, and any different things that are thrown in, so I think very well done to Andre for winning the event, and also winning the event with no mistakes, 26 seconds slower than Severin, but with Severin making a mistake he ended up four seconds behind that just shows that sometimes making sure that you get no mistakes is definitely a good thing as it puts you further up in the leaderboard we will have a look at the overall percentages for the stations station one i'm expecting to be slightly lower because it was people getting used to it but even so 73 percent was the lowest percentage with 203 getting it wrong with foxtrot and 606 going with the correct answer of zero being the only zero in this station i'm not surprised it's the lowest percentage for correct answers but we will go have a look at that one really I don't think I really need to address some of the others because they're all in the 80s and above so well done for you for getting used to the map straight away whereas in station two it looks like the second task was the worst answered and the fourth task just behind it and we already hit a task with less than 50% correct answers with 370 going for zero and it is really clean cut what the most common common wrong answer was with it being alpha and I'm not really surprised by that this was the one where the task was on the pond rather than the lake by the cave but we'll go have another quick look at that one and also the fourth task the other zero in this station but it does seem so far that if the task wasn't a zero you were able to answer it very well we then go to station three and as we're going down it's looking very green apart from maybe the second task is going to be the worst answered one here and it is with 63% of you getting it right which which is 523 of you here and most of you getting it wrong going with zero this task i believe was the one by the crag and if you hadn't seen the crag properly then you may have just thought it was in the wrong place so i'm not really surprised by that and again the percentages are all above 75 percent so that's the only task i really need to go back and look at there then we go on to station four and it's already the first task being the reddest but the third task will have some wrong answers as well and we have hit our lowest percentage so far of 34 percent 516 of you went for Echo, which was the wrong answer and the correct answer was zero. But I did point out before this was the task with the tower and it did look like the tower merged with the building, but the tower was on the second building rather than the first one. So that one was definitely a zero, but we'll have another look at that. And also this 60% was the other zero in the station and 305 of you went with Bravo instead. This was the one on the riverbank being on the wrong part of land going into the river. But again, I can definitely see how quite a lot of you might have put Bravo there. And also again, the other non-zero tasks in this station were very well answered. So what I'm really seeing here is if the answer to the task was an actual control, most of you managed to get it right. Although that may change 
should we go into station five? I don't know. It's um, looking very green, however. Um, there's only a couple of bits of red. Maybe the third task was the worst answered, and it was with 81%, but still, that's very high. Only 122 of you went with zero, and a couple of you went for the other letters as well. But most of you, 672 of you, managed to get the correct answer of echo there. And with it being a no zero station, and it's the second no zero station on the course, you might have been a bit more wary and might have put a zero even if you think it was close between the two and weren't quite decided but again all the percentages there are above 80 percent so i don't think i really need to have a look at that one as much again we then go into station six and i'm expecting this to be a bit more redder but it's looking like only really the last task and partially the first task but the last task was 71 percent which was 585 of you and 201 of you went with the most common wrong answer of charlie and a few of you went with delta and foxtrot as well and then also as we said the 77 percent of the first task with there being quite a spread of wrong answers over charlie delta and echo but most of you managed to get it right with zero so we will have a look at those two tasks in the station but these other percentages are above 80 percent and as i keep saying before when they're not a zero at the moment it looks like they are being very well answered so well done to all of you there then we have station seven and as we're going down it looks like a small bit more red has appeared at the start and I'm thinking it's going to be the first task as the worst answered one and it does seem to be that one. There is a real spread of answers here. Most of you, 508 of you, managed to get the answer as Charlie but quite a few of you put zero and there was a spread between Alpha and Echo for the correct answers. So maybe this was quite a tough one for some of you to get a grasp of and we will go have a look and see if I've missed anything from that task. And then also the second task had a alright percentage of 77 with 637 of you getting it right but there's still a spread of wrong answers and actually even the fifth task 79% or 655 got that one right but still a spread of wrong answers so maybe this was a harder station to grasp and so we should probably go and have a look at station 7 more properly but what I am thinking is going to be the most um, important station to look back on is this station and I'm already seeing loads of red in the first and last tasks so I think these are going to be very low percentages and actually it's only just just the lowest percentage the last task but the first task was 42% with slightly more of you going with echo rather than zero and I think the people that put foxtrot might have just not seen the foxtrot flag in the photo because I think it was quite far forward and sort of out the way by the lake I'm not really surprised echo was a common wrong answer there I think it was definitely a debate between echo or zero but I think having another look over that again will help show you that that was definitely echo and also the final task being on the wrong part of the re-entrant we did say before that it definitely is five cubes away from the bravo kite but we'll have another look at that with two thirds of you getting it wrong and approximately 500 of you going with bravo rather than zero and then finally we have the last station and this is looking a lot greener although maybe it's the fourth task which is the worst answered here or maybe not actually it was the first task with 70 percent of you and again quite a spread of wrong answers here but most of you 500 81 of you managed to get the correct answer of zero but I think this is mainly due to the fact we're just coming into the station is quite a hard station from memory with just using the contour features but I believe that one was definitely a zero and most of you going with delta was also in a depression so I'm not really surprised by that and actually as I said the fourth task it wasn't too badly answered only 181 of you went with Charlie and the correct answer was zero as I believe it was off the photo so yeah we will go have a look at some of those lower percentages as we go back into reviewing day three. The first one to mention, I thought this one was going to be a lot worse answered to be honest because I think these buildings merge and things don't seem to fit but well done to all of you that managed to get that right especially coming in straight away and not really knowing what to expect. I think you've all done really well. It was just this zero which wasn't too badly answered to be honest but I think you can see clearly now that Foxtrot is on this small little hill marked with the same shape of contour and we actually want the spur that you can just see sticking out in front of the building around the side of it so I think that one is definitely a zero there. With station two it was again the two zeros which were the worst answered. This one I can see why quite a lot of you might have put alpha. I think I was definitely debating it for a small bit myself but I had also clocked that alpha was on the lake with the crag around it and the cave which you can clearly see is on that lake there and we actually want the pond that's just round the photo to the left 
left hand side and you can see a small bit of water in the magnifier there so I think that one is good as a zero and also this second zero being on the wrong tree this was definitely a slightly better answered task but just looking at the photo outright it's quite hard to see the second tree but definitely you can see there is a trunk of the second tree coming out from the canopy of the first tree and it definitely ends a lot further back than the tree that Bravo is on so we can definitely see that Bravo is on this tree and we want the tree further behind it so that one is a zero but yeah I don't think those zeros were too badly answered to be honest and even this task in station three was still doing very well I just think some of you might not have very clearly seen what is the crags on the actual photo but if you recognize the sort of gray color to be stone then you would have definitely known that that is where the hole is and we want the northern side of it which foxtrot is on so I think that one is clearly now foxtrot now these two zeros again were probably the worst answered in this station and this one was the first station that we dropped below 50% I believe and I'm not really surprised it was with this task to be honest as I've said before the tower does seem to be on this front building but you can see from the map that the building with the tower on it should be behind another building and with echo being on the first building we know that the building we actually want is a building behind this building and so that one must be a zero and we have also said before about these bits of banks by the river as the river wiggles we want the second one that we reach as we stood over here and as we go along bravo is on the first one rather than the second one and so that one must also be a zero but again i think the rest of the station was very well answered so that was good there and i don't really think any of station five was badly answered at all i think this was quite a clear station if anything the final task was potentially the hardest to see but i also think that you can definitely see with just the two trees that foxtrot must be in about the right place and now the worst two answered tasks in this station again were the two zeros because people were getting the tasks that weren't zeros right quite often this one you can clearly see from the control description that we want the spur and we want the foot of that spur and so rather than the building we want it to be on the contour line which is just there between these two buildings and some of you might have put Charlie because it's on a contour line but it is behind the two buildings as we said before and a few of you would probably put Delta as well which I think was more common as the wrong answer but that is to me clearly on the lamppost rather than on the spur behind it and it is also five blocks away so that one was definitely a zero but there were two very common wrong answers that I'm not really surprised about and also the final zero being the third time we've been asked this exact same problem just from different viewing angles and so now for me at least I could recognize the re-entrance being the one behind this building and you can see we should be going through the two canopies and the building to get to the re-entrance and now if it's going to definitely be behind a building we know it's going to be a zero we've also said before that Charlie is on the middle of these three contours you can see in the photo and we still want the lowest one like in the first task so it's definitely not going to be Charlie it's going to be behind the building and it is a zero again now I'm not really surprised there are a few mistakes here with Charlie I think most of the controls here just being in the landscape could be a correct answer however you do have to remember through these that each contour is one block so you can definitely see the shape of the land a lot clearer and if you want to use the trees as well it should be between the three trees sort of in the line definitely between these two trees and that definitely works out with Charlie and this zero I don't think was very badly answered at all we said with station seven it was a very well answered station and quite a lot of you managed to get this zero as it was behind the canopy of the tree by the building rather than being foxtrot or delta which I think a few of you put but I think most of you managed to get that one as zero so very well done but then we led into the second to last station and this to me was definitely the hardest station of the day and had the hardest task statistically and it was mainly because of the two zeros because again most of you managed to get the three tasks here that weren't zeros correct so very well done to you for that but this first one is definitely a hard one to see but remembering that each contour must be one block that bit of land that echo seems to be on does seem to be two blocks high potentially rather than just one and so we should be looking for a thing just before it which does seem to be this little bit of land here in line with the building and I guess that's the other aspect here echo looks further back from the building and on a sort of diagonal line whereas the hill we want is just in front of it so I think that one is now clearly a zero but that fooled quite a lot of you and what actually fooled more of you was this task in the re-entrant and to be honest I'm not really surprised I think this was a very hard task 
Mask, and I think Bravo is clearly in the correct re-entrant, however it's definitely on the contour above in line with this tree as we can see, and it is definitely five blocks away from the location because you can see the one block of the corner that is also the width of the kite. We then have two blocks more of sand and then two blocks more again of grass. That leads us to five blocks to go into the re-entrant where we want the actual control. So that one is definitely another zero, but it was what I would say is the hardest task of the day within the hardest station of the day. So if you got that one right, very well done to you. And again, it was just really the final two zeros in the event within this final station, which people got wrong. The first one, I can definitely agree that as you're going into the station, you may not be getting the best grasp of the map. And so you may just put the best control that you think fits. But to me, if you're just looking at the map a bit clearer, and you have this massive depression in the center of it with the plus shaped hill and you can see the plus shaped hill within this depression with delta and echo in it and because you want the depression to the west or behind that depression it must be that small hole there which has nothing in it as we've already said and also this one i'm not really surprised a lot of you put charlie because charlie is on the southern part of a hill it's just not the right hill because we have this hill shape with the cactus on and we want it to be on the left hand side of the point of the hill and Charlie is on the right hand side of the point of the hill so the place we want is off the photo over here and that one is also a zero but as I keep saying all the tasks that weren't zeros were very well answered so if you managed to get all of those right very well done to you and even if you only got some of them right I think you've all done very well today just getting used to the new environment did take a lot of work so again if you've just got a few of them right then you've done a really good job we will now have a look and see if the overall results for the cup are up because I know they haven't been straight away and they are actually up there today I've managed to move if we just adjust the screen so you can see it I have managed to move up to seventh place with today's results coming fifth but Sebastiano has held on to his lead today and he's got a 2.6 point lead at the moment so we will see if he holds on to that throughout all seven days however remember it is your best six scores of seven days that count so if you've had one bad day that one will go away and you will just be left with your six best days so I think it is still all to play for as we go. We also have a look at the clubs and I'm not really surprised to say that Massey have held on to first place and the Finns of Turin are 30 points behind them which again I'm not really surprised about Massey seem to be taking these events by storm and MDOC is sitting only just behind Turin in third place so it is looking like quite a competitive club league this week week so we will see what happens to the standings as we go and also the Italians as I'm not really surprised about have held on to the lead there and are again 20 points ahead of any other country and the Finns are in second and Germans in third so it is shaping up to be a very interesting week but again the worst score for all the clubs and countries will be taken out so each club and country can have a bad day so at the moment for the Brits this second day does seem to be the day that will be taken out so we will see how that affects the scores at the end of the week and so we will continue on with four more days and see how we go as we do and I hope you decide to join me for the final four days of training as we continue through and see how we do but for now that is the end of today's video make sure you're liking the video and subscribing to the channel it just makes sure you get notified whenever I release a video and also it helps me out getting my videos shared through the algorithm of YouTube and also make sure you are sharing this video we are going for the goal of a thousand people on the leaderboard in one of these events and we will see if that is manageable it's definitely been manageable before we had just over 800 I believe in this event so let's see if we can top that up to a thousand and also make sure you are commenting anything you think I've missed anything you want me to add to these videos and yeah with that I will join you again tomorrow for the fourth day of the Taurus training week mm -hmm.